I will now explain you how to create a message in more detail. The create message function includes five main steps. Register, define the contents of the message, choose message recipients, preview the message, and publish the message. Use the register tab to select message type and message category when creating a message and to save the newly created message in the database for further processing. Please note that after creating a message, you can still navigate back and forth among the steps by clicking on the respective tabs. Message type must be selected to distinguish between messages containing information that your company is required to publish. Usually, this has already set up for you depending on your company's requirements and agreements signed with NASDAQ. For example, it could be filing with exchange and or company release and for first NOF issuer it could be first NOF release and filing with first NOF. If your company does have more than one option to select from, then the message type cannot be changed once a message is created. If you wish to change the message type later, the complete message must be discarded, which means that all entered information will be lost. Text has to be copied to another message before discarding. The available message categories will change depending on message type and must be selected based on the message content. The message category can be changed later in the message creation process. If you have created any templates, you will see them at the drop down list over here. Now you can go ahead and click on create a message and this will take you to a page looking like this. And you can still change the message category. By clicking discard button, you will be able to delete the message at any time before it is disseminated. In the content tab, you can select to save the message as a template for future messages. Click on Create New Template, write Template Name, and click on Save. Also, use the Content tab to select recipient languages. If you are required to publish in English and in your local language, then you should act exactly the same in both of them. You can simply add or remove them. Then you can add a message headline over here. The point of origin field can contain the point of origin city and country. The dateline information row will be added to your message. To enter message text, you can either copy and paste the text you have prepared in any text editor, such as Word document, or you can write the message text directly into the text field. The recommended font is Arial 11. You can further format or edit the text by using toolbar commands over here. In case links are used, set them as open in new window. The content information can be added to your message body or could be added under the contact details over here. Contact information will be displayed at the end of your message. We strongly advise you to add contact details to each of your messages. To add one or several attachments, click on Choose File, select the file you want to attach, Check the All Languages box if you wish to add the same attachment to all the languages you are working on. If not, remember to upload attachments for each language message separately. And click on Upload Files. All attachments should be in the PDF format and only Latin letters should be used in the file name. Also, please note that a single attachment cannot be larger than 10 megabytes. 
the images and webcasts below are for premium. Once you are done with the content, you can click on save. And you can move on to the recipients tab. Use the recipients tab to select which distribution channels from the available choices to use for your message and to which distribution lists and company lists to distribute your message. All available channels provided by News Distribution Service are listed in the upper part of the Recipients tab. If these are grayed out, it means that these selections are mandatory to achieve sufficient dissemination according to rules and regulations for this message type. Click a non-grade checkbox to select or deselect the channel. News Distribution Service provides distribution lists. Additional lists such as Globe News Wire products are also listed here and can be chosen for premium. All chargeable lists are highlighted with Euro sign. And finally, you can select which company lists your message should be distributed to. The company lists consists of lists with individual recipients addresses and are added by you or your colleagues under the administration menu, company lists. Depending on the selection the creator of the list has made when creating the list, the list might be optional, preferred, or mandatory to use. Preferred lists are pre-selected. Click the checkbox to deselect a preferred list. Mandatory lists are pre-selected and cannot be deselected. Use the Preview tab to view a message in the format it will be sent to the recipients. You can still make changes to the message prior to sending by returning to the Content tab and editing the message. Finally, you can set the conditions for the announcement. You must make two selections before the message can be processed further. Select if the message should be published immediately or at a specific time in the future. You can also send it for internal review so that another colleague at your company will need to approve it. Or you can send it to service desk review where a staff member of the exchange reviews the message before approving it. There is also an option to add notes and set notes to the service desk here. Please note that announcements are checked and distributed by service desk during working hours. Or you can simply send out a message without further review. Just click on process message and it will be sent out.